It's week nine here in season seven of Battle Royale, which is the single most important week when it comes to the weekly challenges this season. The super secret Snowfall skin is finally going to become unlockable this week if you have completed every single weekly challenge until now. If you check your progress bar under the Snowfall challenges and you're sitting at 53 out of 60 or higher for the Snowfall skin, that means this week you will finally be able to unlock Season 7's most exclusive skin. What's up guys and welcome back to the Simply Viral channel, thanks for stopping by. If you guys are new around here, feel free to subscribe with your channel notifications turned on, that way you can join that ever so cool notification squad and you'll always know when a new video goes live on the channel. If you guys are excited to finally see the Snowfall skin revealed and unlocked, let us know by dropping a like on this video and giving it a big thumbs up. And last but not least, make sure to let us know in the comments what your favorite challenge based skin has been so far, either the Blockbuster skin, the Enforcer skin, or the AIM skin. Now without further ado, let's jump back into the world of Fortnite Battle Royale and take a look at all the Season 7 Week 9 leaked challenges. Of course, to preface these challenges, just like every other week, these challenges do leak early and that means that all the info that we have in this video comes directly from the in-game files, but sometimes Epic Games do update the challenges and change them last minute, so there is a slight chance that one or two of these challenges might end up changing or adapting in some way, so it is always a good idea to double check the challenges come Thursday on the main menu to make sure that everything we talk about today is correct and lined up. Just like every other week, we've got four regular challenges, which will give you five battle stars or 500 XP when you complete them, and three hard challenges, which will give you 10 battle stars or 1000 XP upon completion. And if you complete four out of these seven challenges this week, you'll receive a nice 9000 XP bonus as well. So definitely make sure you stay tuned throughout the video as we give you guys all of the challenges and how to complete them in the easiest and most efficient ways possible. Now, challenge number one this week is going to be hit three trash bins with an ice puck. Now, this challenge doesn't specify that this has to happen in just one match or even different matches, so if you'd like, you can technically complete this challenge all in one game. Of course, though, for this one, you will need the ice puck throwable toy. But if you do have that, simply find a trash bin. I know there's some in retail, Salty Springs, Tilted Towers, basically anywhere that is populated with houses and stores will have trash bins around. My guess is that once this challenge comes out, someone will probably make a full location guide on all the trash bin locations, so if you really want to know where they are, that is always an option there, and probably your best option as well. But once you find a trash bin, simply throw your ice puck at it, either slide it on the ground or hit it directly, and once you hit the trash bin, you'll have one out of your three required for this challenge done and complete. Pretty simple challenge, but it will require you to have that ice puck toy like I mentioned if you're looking to complete it. Now, challenge number two this week is going to be a fun one. It's going to be use a sneaky snowman. We've seen a lot of these challenges in the past where it requires us to find and use a new item in the game, and that is clearly the case here. The sneaky snowman item did just get put into the game a few days ago. It basically replaces the bush and is actually a lot more useful than the bush since it does hide you pretty well and it gives you some extra health too. So from my understanding, this challenge just needs you to use one sneaky snowman, but like I said earlier, because these challenges do leak early, there is a chance that this challenge might change to something like use a sneaky snowman in three different matches or something like that to make it a little bit more difficult. But either way, this challenge really should not be too hard. The sneaky snowman item is a common drop. You can find it on the floor via floor loot or in chests. So if you're looting up and actively searching chests, you should find some snowmen in no time. Keeping the list rolling, challenge number three this week is going to be complete three timed trials with the X4 Stormwing plane. Obviously, in the past, we've seen challenges like complete timed trials in a vehicle, but at that point, we only had things like the Quad Crasher or the ATK. Now we have planes in the game, and that means we can have alternative time trial challenges, and that's exactly what we got going on here. Unfortunately, because the challenges do leak early, we don't know exactly where the time trial courses are going to be located, but as I mentioned previously, once the challenges do drop on Thursday, if you end up just looking up a location guide on, say, the Fortnite subreddit or just on YouTube, there will be plenty of options showing you exactly where you need to go with your X4 Stormwing to activate these time trials. In the past, the time trial courses have been a little bit tricky, but I feel like with planes, I think they'd be a little bit easier since your ability to maneuver around is a little bit more free and fluid, so I don't anticipate them being super hard, but definitely don't expect to get every single one on your first try. Of course, though, you do only have to complete three timed trials, so that really is not too bad there. 
Challenge number four this week is going to be a pretty easy one as well. It's simply going to be eliminate opponents with a shotgun. Obviously, shotguns now are pretty effective since their recent buff, and we've got quite the variety in terms of shotgun variants. We've got the tack shotgun, we've got the regular pump shotgun, we've got the epic and legendary pump shotgun, and of course, the heavy shotgun as well. So any of those will count towards this challenge. And unfortunately, once again, though, because the challenges do leak early, we don't know how many eliminations we're going to actually have to get for this challenge. But typically, the weapon elimination challenges need you to get anywhere from three eliminations all the way up to five eliminations, depending on the specific challenge. But either way, that is definitely not too difficult if your aim is on point. One trip to Tilted Towers will probably have this challenge in the books for you, in all honesty. Challenge number 5 here in week 9 is going to be another elimination challenge, but this one focuses on the location instead of the weapon. It's going to be eliminate opponents in Junk Junction or Retail Row. Now typically, Junk Junction is not a very common drop, there's really not a whole lot of people going there. Retail Row on the other hand is a pretty hot drop, but because this is a challenge, you're going to have a lot of people going to both locations. But my guess is that Retail Row will probably have more people landing at it just because it's a more popular drop than Junk Junction. And quite honestly, you can probably knock out this challenge and the shotgun elimination challenge at the exact same time if you end up finding a shotgun in either Retail Row or Junk Junction, so that is always an option too, knock out two birds with one stone. Once again, we're not exactly sure about the number count for this challenge, but elimination challenges are pretty much always three eliminations to complete it, so I would expect that to be the case here for this, so most likely this challenge will be eliminate three opponents in Junk Junction or Retail Row. Moving on, challenge number 6 is going to be a staged challenge, which means you can only complete one stage per match, as staged challenges do not actually automatically progress in-game. But nonetheless, this challenge is definitely not too hard. Stage 1 is going to be land at Retail Row. Stage 2 is going to be land at Frosty Flights. Stage 3 is land at Haunted Hills. Stage 4, land at Shifty Shafts. And the final stage, stage 5, is going to be land at Dusty Divot. So this challenge will take 5 total matches to complete if you just drop off the battle bus to all of those locations, but all you have to do is simply land at these locations and you'll complete the given stage of the challenge which is obviously very very easy to do. Then we've got our final challenge for week 9 of season 7, challenge number 7, is going to be kind of a weird challenge as the game files have made it a little bit tricky to decipher, but from what we can tell right now, it appears this challenge wants us to dance at different locations, but the locations are subject to change. So location number 1 is going to be dance on top of an oversized clock face, which I believe is on the mountain just outside of the gas station in the desert biome aka the Sundial Mountain as it's known, that I believe is location number 1. Location number 2 is going to be dance on top of an oversized cup of coffee. This one is located at Dusty Divot in the new diner area. The big sign is actually a cup of coffee, so that is location number 2. And the final location, location number 3, is going to be dance on top of an oversized metal dog head, which I believe is at Junk Junction right on the sign at the entrance. So that is all of those locations, but like I said, those locations are subject to change, so definitely double check when the challenges actually go live on Thursday to make sure that all of those are correct. And there you guys have it, those are all of the Season 7 Week 9 challenges leaked early and how to complete them in the best and quickest ways possible. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Week 9 is the single most important week out of all of Season 7 because you're going to finally be able to unlock the Snowfall skin if you end up completing 60 total challenges with this week included from the time Season 7 launched. If you have done that, you will gain access to the Snowfall skin, which is inevitably going to be one of the rarest skins in the game, as it's only unlockable here in Season 7 by completing 60 different weekly challenges. With that being said, that effectively does wrap up today's video. As you mentioned at the start of the video, let us know down in the comments below what your favorite challenge-based skin has been so far between the Blockbuster skin, the Enforcer skin, and the Aim skin. Of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like on it and give it a big thumbs up as it would be much appreciated. And if you are brand new here to the Simply Viral channel, feel free to go ahead and subscribe with your channel notifications turned on by clicking that little bell icon. That way, you'll never miss another upload. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and we'll see you guys on the Battle Bus. Peace out.